Only on KDKA, we are hearing from a witness who police interviewed in connection with the death of Sharon Benyo. Last Wednesday, Benyo was found dead in a field in Beaver County. Let's get right to Jennifer Barrasso, who's been looking into the criminal complaint in this case. Jen. That's right, Kim. I got my hands on that criminal complaint, and in it, surveillance video shows Sharon Benyo was inside John Johnson's car before her murder, and I talked to that witness who came forward with crucial information. It's sad. It's very sad. This woman who doesn't want to be identified called state police after she saw the breaking news. Sharon Benyo was found dead in a field just off Route 51 in Chippewa Township, Beaver County, with two gunshot wounds to the head. I heard two gunshots. I heard the gunshots. And I saw the vehicle going up this drive. And from that point, then I heard the gunshots and I knew something happened. That woman later identified the car at Nissan Altima leaving the crime scene. State police last Saturday arrested and charged 68-year-old John Wesley Johnson of Beaver Falls with Benyo's murder, the last person who saw her alive. According to the criminal complaint, surveillance video captured Benyo driving with Johnson before she was found murdered. On October 4th, Johnson is seen leaving his apartment around 445, picks up Benyo, drives towards Constitution Boulevard headed north around 524 Johnson is going south on Constitution. Benyo is not in his car. An hour later, he returns to his apartment. Johnson told investigators on the day of the murder he went to his weekly dialysis appointment, came home and slept until October 6th. KDK has learned Johnson and Benyo had known each other for a while and were friends. The motive is still unclear. Back at the crime scene, these are permanent reminders from loved ones of Sharon Benyo in the field where she suffered a tragic death just weeks after she was released from prison. No woman needs to die that way. Glad it's over and they found him. I had to call someone. And I did. And thank God it's over. And court paperwork says that someone told investigators they purchased a 380 for Johnson in 2016. And at the crime scene, detectives recovered a 380 bullet casing there. Jennifer Barrasso, KDKA News.